Yo, what is up, guys? It's Logic Looks, and today, oh my goodness, if you guys didn't already see, we just got ourselves some all time spotlight sims in 2K. Now, obviously, they have not dropped just yet, but if you go to the reward section over here, you should be able to see it in all time spotlight sims. There are only six cards this time around, and of course, the reward is this GOAT Stephen Curry, which I don't know if is a good card. Obviously, he's a little bit short, but still, a GOAT Stephen Curry is not a bad card, especially for only six cards. I don't really know how much how this is going to work. They are not out yet, but I'm going to give you guys some tips to finish these really, really quickly and finish these fast and get them done in pretty much no time with no trouble at all. Let's get into the video. I'm excited. Leave a like if you guys are ready. Hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Let's get into the video, man. I'm excited. Let's go. So guys, no matter how these challenges actually work, because nobody really knows how they're going to actually work because they are not out yet. One thing you want to do right away is get yourself a Nets playbook. Now, obviously, if you're new to the game, you're actually going to have, you know, some type of difficulty with playing this game offline. Even though it's just offline, you are going to struggle a little bit. So go ahead, go bronze, go Nets on the auction house over here on the franchise setting. Go to playbooks and pick one up while they are cheap. They're going to rise really, really quickly. I already have a lot of them in my auction house, so I'm kind of glad about it. But if you guys don't have one, save up the MT, pick yourself up a Nets playbook. It will help you a ton. If you guys are, you know, in close games against the CPU, you're going to be able to take the lead very, very easily with this playbook. If you want to learn how to, you know, run quick through STS, which is the play you're going to need to run from this playbook, search it up. There are a ton of videos on it. Even I made a video on it, so you can look back at that. But definitely learn how to run quick through STS. That is the first thing I would do because if you're in a close game with the CPU, this is the best way to come back and actually take the lead. Or if you're down by a lot, it's easy to actually just take the lead with this play. You pretty much get a bucket every single time down the line, especially because it's against the CPU. So definitely pick up a Nets playbook, learn how to do quick through STS and run quick through STS while you're playing these offline challenges. Now, obviously it is going to be a bit harder, you know, at first to adjust, but once you know how to run it, you are going to be getting buckets every single time down the floor. Definitely go watch a video on how to run quick through STS. And let's move into the second thing that will help you win these challenges way quicker. Now, obviously, boys, I'm not really sure how long it's going to take to finish these challenges because obviously they're not even out yet in the market or in the, I guess you would say, offline challenge area. So we're not really too sure how long it's going to take to finish all these challenges. But one thing I got to say right now, if you guys use the quick through SCS play with that Nets playbook, you are going to have a much easier time. You guys can see these challenges. Now, I know I'm not done the Larry Bird challenges because I didn't really, you know, grind through them that fast, but I am getting there pretty quickly. And honestly, bro, they were easy a piece of cake pretty much i did not lose a single game so definitely one thing i would do is pick up the nets playbook that's the first thing the second thing i would do is if there is a certain team restriction i would go ahead and build up like five lineups at once so let's just say you needed to use you know a team full of celtics players a team full of warriors players a team full of charlotte hornets players and a team full of pacers players go ahead and build those four lineups up right at the start so you don't have to worry about it later build them up and then just get into each game and you are going to have a much easier time you know just getting through the games it's very very simple but once again man definitely do it if you have not and um yeah let me show you guys really quickly actually because obviously the most important part of this video is quick through sts that is the main thing that you want to focus on because quick through sts will literally propel you through these challenges like i'm not even kidding you are going to have a much easier time with it because you're not going to be losing games so you're not going to be getting set back and you're pretty much going to be running through the opponents so let me show you guys how to actually set it up and run it in the game so boys, the first thing you want to do, make sure you have the Nest playbook equipped to that specific lineup that you're going to be using. So let's just say I was using this lineup right here, which obviously I am not using this lineup, but let's just say I was, make sure you have the Nest playbook equipped right here on the right corner. Once you have that, you can get into the game. It's very, very simple. Get into the game and I'll show you guys exactly what to do once we're in there. Okay, boys, so once we get into the game, now this is a random spotlight challenge. This is not the one that, you know, just came out, but it doesn't really matter which one you do it for. As long as this is offline challenges, this is all you got to do. Go to offensive settings, go down over here. You guys will see play selection. Click on it. You can go to any one of these. Just scroll down. You guys will see it. Quick through SCS right here. This is very important. You got to do this before you get into the game every single time. Click on quick through SCS. Hit circle, hit circle, hit circle, and just back out. Very, very simple, just like that. And then once you actually get into the actual game like this, all you guys got to do is literally just get the ball, and I'll show you exactly what you do. It's a guaranteed bucket pretty much every single time. You got to give it to somebody who could actually slash. So if your point guard can't slash, then, you know, don't really use him. Press L1 on the PS4. Press square, 
and then just hold right here somebody's gonna come over you're gonna see DeRozan you're gonna pass to DeRozan Simmons is gonna cut and you're just gonna go up for that easy dunk that literally works every single time you guys saw how fluid that was it does take some getting used to at first when you know you're first getting used to the play and all that but once you get used to it it is very easy to run and anybody can do it you can do it with any player too not just your point guard like you can do it with you know DeRozan press L1 square stand on the spot right here which is pretty important somebody will come over you pass to them you'll cut in and then easy dunk every single time just make sure your player can dunk that's one thing i would recommend and number two the first player that passes the ball has to be the person that's going to score so make sure he's the one that can dunk so don't mess that up and um literally that's literally it bro this is the fastest way to get through challenges in you know in reality you're not going to lose games if you use this method because even if you're down by 10 you are going to be able to get those easy buckets like every single time you guys can see bro even though you know the opponent might score on you a lot they're not going to score on you every possession so just get the easy bucket every single time and that's basically it man it for the video it's very very quick i just wanted to bring this to you guys you know as a quick little video quick little tutorial on how to finish these challenges faster and way easier if you guys have trouble with these ever this is the way to go, man. It is just, you know, super easy. You can kick back, watch Netflix, and just do this every single time. Obviously, if you're good enough to beat the CPU, then no need for this video. But hopefully, you guys learned something. One more thing I would mention is split up your challenges. Don't do them all in one day or you're going to get extremely bored. So split them up into like three days. Let's just say there's 30 challenges. Maybe do 10 a day or maybe do five every, you know, five a day for six days. Do whatever you got to do. Just don't do them all in once because you are going to get extremely bored and extremely tired of this game. And then you're going to want to take a break and you're going to be pissed. Trust me, I've tried it before. Not worth it. But definitely run quick to STS. Learn how to run it. And use this to your full advantage because it is literally a bucket every single time down the floor. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. Like I said, if you guys enjoyed it, leave a like down below. Hit that sub button if you're new. Go out there, get this goat curry. Let me know if you guys end up getting him. Let me know if you're even going to go for him because I know it's curry. So, you know, it's not the biggest name and there are way better point guards in the game. But let me know what you're going to do. I love you guys, man. I'll see you guys later today with another video. Hopefully you enjoyed this quick one. I'll catch you, man. Peace. Told me that I have potential Yeah, he pull up, but he pull up in rental You niggas don't know, you don't know none of my pain Remember the days when I walked in the rain I'm going way harder cause it's a new season I do what I do and I got all my reasons And when I win, I never feel like I won Cause everybody wanna be number one Everybody